What's up, man? Not much, man. Just cruising the gram, trying to get those numbers up. How many followers do you have now, dude? 11K, dude. Oh. 11,000 people. Oh, dude, I am almost in the 10K club. I'm at like 6,200 right now, dude. So jealous. Yeah, man, I mean, it's a lot of hard work, dude, but it pays off, you know what I'm saying? Just opening your phone and seeing that number is like, Honestly, hitting 10K is like a major, it's a major career moment, right? I mean, bro, there are two versions of me. There's one before 10K and then after 10K, you know? You know, I really thought you would get an endorsement by now because you hit 10K like a couple months ago, right? I mean, it could happen any day if I'm being honest. I think the world is just kind of like weird right now. So companies are being like, being more careful. Yep, yep, exactly, exactly. Just like a matter of time, man. Yeah, dude, I don't know what's going on. I've been trying to get my account verified for like a year, but Instagram hasn't, hasn't even responded. Like that blue check would be, such a game changer for me, man. Man, that would be huge for you. Like imagine all the things that would happen if you got verified. It's like your whole career right there. It's everything, man. The pinnacle. I mean, I know like 11,000 followers isn't like insane, but if you think about it, like it actually is insane because imagine 11,000 people in like one room, dude. It's a lot of people, dude. It's a lot of people. So what kind of content are you working on? So right now I'm focused mostly on Blink-182 covers because I feel like the market just really needs those right now. Oh, of course they do, man. I mean, Travis Barker was like a huge influence of mine growing up. Same dude, the same. And I think it really sets us apart from a lot of other drummers. It definitely does. I mean, kids these days haven't even heard of Travis Barker, dude. Such a shame, dude. I mean, kids these days are listening to what? Justin Bieber? Just. Ridiculous, man. Well, what are what are you working on? So I'm actually doing a Justin Bieber cover this weekend because you know people still want to like mm -hmm. see that stuff, you know. But I'm also thinking of doing something like a little more out there, like a housey track. Housey, nice, like super edgy, not not mainstream, you know. Yeah, man, just to mix it up, you know, maybe throw some 21 Pilots in there too. Just really like keep them guessing. Nice. Haven't seen that one before either. You know, I'm thinking about doing these. Um, Dude, like 60 second drum lessons, like little quick fills or maybe some grooves with um, like the notation at the bottom. And I can probably just like, I don't know, like type out the pattern like in the caption. 100% dude. I mean, you can definitely use the caption for the pattern. Don't even worry about like the notation. Instagram is like basically built for drum lessons. I was thinking of doing something like, I don't know, like, Drum Fill Fridays or something like that. Genius. Wish I thought of that, dude. Bro, I've got these paradiddle exercises that are absolutely going to blow people's minds. Dude, they will, they will. You know what you should do though, is at the beginning of the video, like make some sort of like face at the camera. Yeah, like I'm, like I'm talking to a six year old, like really over animated and silly for no reason. Exactly, dude, like let them know that we're gonna have fun together in this video. I should probably like point to the drum set, right? Definitely, just so they know that you're about to play something, right? How else would they know, right? Exactly. I think I could also like, I don't know, like stare at the camera like the entire time. For sure, man. I mean, dude, that's that real connection. Like when I play shows, I totally stare into the eyes of one audience member like the entire show. Yeah, that, that's normal. That's normal, right? Uh, what are you doing for hashtags now? Honestly, I'm going with all the major ones, man. Drum Live, Drum University, Drummers of Instagram, Insta Drummer. 100%, dude. That's how you get those reposts, bro. Reposts are huge, right? I mean, what better way to grow your following than to have someone else take your content off of your feed and like put it on their feed? So much exposure, dude. So much exposure. I mean, like, imagine, imagine if Minel reposted you. Dude, I'm glad you mentioned Minel because I'm like 90% sure that Minel has seen my stuff before because I use like all of the hashtags. Oh yeah, man, like Minel artist, Minel for life, Minel or die, Minel over everything. All of those, all of those. But like, my setup is mostly Zildjian and Sabian, but obviously like if I signed with Minel, I would like, I'd switch over, you know? Oh, for sure, man. I mean, you should be trying to reach companies like that even if you don't play their gear at all. Yep, yep, like I play Promark Sticks, but I'm definitely using hashtag VF15, right? For sure, for sure. Bro, did I tell you I got approved for a Soul Tone endorsement? No way, dude, that is unbelievable. Dude, congrats, man. Yeah, it was like pretty much instant too, man. They didn't even have to think about it. I mean, I filled out that form on the website and in like an hour, they just, boom, dude, sent me a contract. Damn, bro, I, you deserve that. Did you get that fat discount? <laughs> yeah, dude, it's like a crazy discount, but I mean, they do still need like a lot of money because the symbols are, dude, they're like that high quality. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense, dude. Makes sense. So how's your like engagement numbers going? All good? Good, man. Good. I mean, keeping up with 11,000 people is hard, dude. Like DMs blowing up with questions all the time, dude, every day. 
Yeah, man. I think it's important when you get questions from drummers that you really like tell everybody else how much you get that question. Man, I've had at least three people ask me what my ride symbol is, so I figured I should probably like make a post to like clear it up for everybody else. Yeah, and just say in the caption that you get asked about your ride like all the time, you know? A ton of you guys have been asking about my ride symbol. So check this out. One thing I've been doing for engagement is writing these like really generic, but still kind of positive posts and then just dropping them on random drummers videos like all day. Man, that is such a good way to get followers. So you can leave like, I don't know, like 200 comments in a day and people will totally like check your page out. Just like fist bump and drum emojis. Maybe throw like a lightning bolt in there. Exactly. And, and I'm only saying nice stuff. So it's not like spam at all. You know what I mean? Just like really organic. Totally organic. Have you thought about how you're gonna like monetize it all, bro? Like how are you gonna make some money? So much, man. I mean, dude, 11,000 people. If I could get like a dollar from each of them, I don't even know how much money I would have. <sighs> You'd be set, dude. I think I'm definitely gonna offer some kind of like Skype lessons really soon, just for like my followers who like really wanna learn from me. You could make them really affordable too. Like totally like, undercut people who are charging normal prices for lessons that actually do that for work. Oh yeah, dude, I'm thinking like 15 bucks an hour, dude, just cause I'm not like, you know, I'm not like super experienced with lessons. Bro, that's such a good price. Cause you don't have like any audio gear or like fast internet or a studio or like teaching experience. Exactly, so I'll make those like super cheap. And you know, I'm also thinking of doing like, do like a website with lessons, man. No way, man. Dude, I've been thinking about doing that too. It's the future, man. Like I really wanna sell like, I'm thinking a lesson pack with some sort of chops, right? Bro, that would sell like crazy. I would totally buy that. But you know, I've also been considering like, Honestly, just taking a little break from social media for a little while. Oh yeah, dude, mental health, bro, so important. Sometimes you just need that reset, you know what I mean? 100%, bro, and obviously you should like, you should probably announce when you're taking a break. Maybe like share something about your personal life just so people like get it, you know? Definitely, man. I was thinking of telling people like before I even take a break just so they know it's coming and then like telling them again when I'm back. So they know that you're back, right? Exactly. exactly. Dude, you know what I'm doing this weekend? What's up? So I'm gonna pack up my whole kit and go like set up in a field somewhere to make videos or like deep in the woods. You know what I'm saying? That is so worth doing. Absolutely, man. Like it does take way longer and it doesn't sound as good and it's probably really bad for my kit and all that, but that's not really the point. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I mean, if you get more views, then it's totally worth it. I think it's a good use of my time too. Like what else do I have to do this weekend? Exactly, man. So worth it. You know, I was also thinking about making some like uh, like fitness videos for my Instagram? Yes, dude, to like balance out the drum content, right? Exactly, because it's not like I don't have more ideas for drum content, because I have like a ton of other ideas for drum content. Yep, I just yep. think like I could, I don't know, man, just like mix it up a little bit, you know? And drums and fitness are like basically the same thing, so it wouldn't be weird at all from like a branding perspective. 100%, man, not weird at all. Well, bro, I gotta pack up this kit and head out to the woods. I feel you, bro, I got a lot of emojis to drop today, so I'm gonna get on that. All right, bro, see you on the gram. On the gram, brother.